All right, so here we're talking about limits of rational functions at infinity and the horizontal asymptotes of rational functions. So rational functions, again, are fractions. And so if we have some f of x, and it's um, a m x to the m plus a m minus 1, x to the m minus 1, and so on, over b n x to the n plus b n minus 1, x, x to the n minus 1, and so on. And we have these two key pieces, those leading terms right there cannot equal zero, okay? Then what we can say is the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of the leading term, basically the whole leading term, not just the coefficients, the whole leading term. And with this one, as it approaches negative infinity, it's going to be equal to that. So that's kind of the key thing. We're looking at those. Now there's going to be three possible cases for these. And what we're looking at really is our m and n values. So if m is less than n, so if this value here, m, is less than this value n, then the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity is going to equal the limit as f of x as x approaches infinity is going to be equal to 0. And that gives us the line y equals 0. And that's the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote of f of x. So if this is the case, we get a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. Now, if those two are equal, this m and this n, those powers, if they're equal, then the limits is going to give us this ratio here, am over bm. So just this coefficients out here, and that's going to give us the line y equals am over bn is going to be a horizontal asymptote of f of x. So we're going to get some horizontal asymptote. That's kind of like what happens here, because we have equal values here, and so we're just taking... 3 over 2, and that's going to be our horizontal asymptote. And if we had had m was greater than the n, then we'd have the horizontal asymptote right here. It'd be the, the x-axis. Now, what happens is if m is greater than n, so the numerator is bigger than the denominator uh, exponents, then each limit will be either positive or negative infinity, depending on m, n, a, m, and b, n. And f of x does not have a horizontal asymptote, basically, then. And so what we can say is a rational function can have at most one horizontal asymptote because there's, you know, three cases. You can only do one of the three cases. You can't have multiple things. And then the graph in the figure above dispels the misconception that the graph of a function cannot cross a horizontal asymptote. Well, guess what? Oops. It does cross horizontal asymptote. We have it. But, you know, what happens is it goes up and then it approaches the horizontal asymptote from the top. And if you think about it, maybe it came down and now we're approaching it from the bottom. So we're going to approach it from the bottom and we're going to approach it from the top. So that's what the horizontal asymptotes are for there is help us to decide that. Okay. All right. So what we're supposed to do here is find all horizontal asymptotes, if any, of any uh, or each of these functions. Okay. So for A, what do we have? All right. Again, we're looking at three and four. So M is less than n, right? So if we don't remember, let's go back. m is less than n, so it's going to be a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So that's all we have. y equals 0 is horizontal asymptote. Okay. b. All right, here's b. So we have a 6 and we have a 5. So it looks like there, m is greater than n. Well, if we don't remember what that one is, that's the bottom one. There does not, there is not a horizontal asymptote. So no horizontal asymptote. C. Uh, here we have equal three equals three. So m equals n. And that was the case where we use the coefficients as the uh, horizontal asymptote. So now we just use two over four. So y equals two over four, which is just one half, is the horizontal asymptote. Okay. And so that is how you find those horizontal asymptotes. So that's the nice one. All right, so now it says find all vertical and horizontal asymptotes of the function. All right, well, 
first things first, let's look at factoring because that's always a good thing to do when you have things that looks like difference of squares. So we have x plus 3, x minus 3, x plus 2, x minus 2. So we know our zeros. So that's x equals 2 and x equals minus 2. Okay. Nothing can cancel. So that means we have two vertical asymptotes. at x equals 2 and x equals minus 2. Now, what about horizontal asymptotes? Well, those are equal. And remember, when m equals n, then we use coefficients, y, and the coefficients are 1 over 1, or just 1, is the horizontal asymptote. Okay, So we have two vertical asymptotes, and we have one horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Okay, and so that hopefully will get you through 9.2.